the point of this whole series is to say, how can we expose ourselves to different thoughts? How can we expose ourselves to what these young people are saying turns them away from Christianity? I'm Josh Attaway. I'm the campus pastor here at St. Luke's Edmond, and this has been our under construction group. We are still learning. Some people think we have these answers, but it's an acknowledgement that we don't, and we continue to learn. For all of us, we come from different backgrounds in this class. Everyone has the right to express their own ideas, and nobody's going to judge you. You begin to see the challenge in this, in this viewpoint. How are we building better dads, better husbands, better men? It's all about how can we become the people that God means for us to be. One of the things that we profess at St. Luke's is we understand that everybody is a child of God. We recognize that even those who don't profess Christianity as their faith, they're still loved by God, and they still need to be loved by us. Do you remember the words of St. Francis of Assisi? He said, preach the gospel all the time, but only when you have to use words. It's way, way more important as to what it is that we do and how we live our lives and our interactions with others than what it is that we say. And when we do that, we move from being the kind of arrogant Christians that, that make non-religious people crazy. And we begin to exemplify and model a humility that people find draws them to Jesus Christ. We don't necessarily have all the right answers, but it is kind of the, the way that we bring our, our thoughts and our message to people we interact with every day. And what I find in all of these groups is that there's always somebody that I can learn from and there's always something that I can offer to the group. And I think that that's true for all of us. We all have something to offer to the world. We all have something that we can teach from our own experiences and our own story. We all have something that we can learn. What we find is that when we live out of that spirit of humility, we really gain something from those who are around us.